use the properties of logarithms to expand the log of y to the fourth by z. So let's begin here by recalling some of the algebraic properties of logarithms. So our first property is the product property of logarithms, which tells us that if we have the log of, say, a times b, this is equal to log of a plus log of b. Our second property is the quotient property of logarithms, which says if we have log of a divided by b, that this is equal to log of a minus log of b. And our third algebraic property that we want to recall is the power property of logarithms, where if we have, say, log of a to the b power, we can rewrite this as b times the log of a. So these are the three algebraic properties that we are going to be using here to expand this logarithm. So let's simply begin by thinking about what we are given here. We have the log of y to the fourth power divided by z. So notice that we have a quotient. We can see that we have y to the fourth divided by z. So we're going to begin here by applying the quotient property. And we can rewrite this as log of y to the fourth minus log of z. Beautiful! So we can see that this quotient of logarithms became the difference of logarithms. Now, how else can we simplify? Well, looking at this first term, log of y to the fourth, notice that we have a power. We have y raised to the fourth power. Now, z is raised to the first, so that is as simplified as it can be. But this first logarithm can be simplified by the power property. So we can rewrite this expression as 4 times log of y minus log of z. And this is as simplified as this logarithm can be, so it is fully expanded, and this is our beautiful final answer.